Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create an IAM user with programmatic access. Code build will use this user's credentials to authenticate with our AWS environment when we create a build project. To create an IAM user with programmatic access, in the management console, type IAM in the search box and select IAM under services. On the IAM dashboard, select users, then click add users. Give the user a name. I'll call this user code build user. Once you've given the user a name, under select AWS access type, select access key programmatic access, then click next for permissions. Under set permissions, click attach existing policies directly. Then in here, we are going to select administrator access. If you don't see administrator access, you can also search it in here. Once you've selected, click next to add tags. We won't add any tag, click next to review. You can review the setting for your user on this page. Here we are creating a user called code build user and that user has programmatic access. We also attach the administrator access to this user. Once you have reviewed everything, click create user. Once you have created the user, on this page, this is very important. Click download CSV to download the user's credentials. I'll click download CSV. When you click the download CSV button, it is going to download the user's credentials on your computer. Here you can see in this Excel file, you have the user's credentials with the user's access key ID and the user's secret access key. We will use this user's credentials to authenticate later on in our code build project. So for now, I want you to download the CSV file and save it somewhere on your computer. I'll close this. Another reason why I want you to download the user's credentials is because when you close out of this page, you won't be able to see the user's secret access key anymore. So make sure you download the CSV file and click close. And there you go. We have successfully created our user with programmatic access and we call that user code build user. In the coming lecture, we will use this user's credentials to authenticate in our code build job. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.